Hi guys, this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music. In this bass guitar lesson, we are going to look at one of my favorite artists of all time, the king of pop, Michael Jackson, and we are going to study five of his bass lines or guitar riffs if you want to call them that i don't know how it could have originated maybe a bass guitar or a guitar nevertheless i'm going to show you what the bass guitar is playing and a few variations here and there to make it easy for some of you who are starting off and also a few variations to make it more interesting for those of you who are who have been playing the bass for a while and if you're a piano player or if you play any other instrument you could still follow along because you can learn a lot more concepts than just how to play it on the bass guitar you learn about some theory why they composed it like that how to count it how to transcribe it all of this will be covered so five mj riffs stick around till the very end because all of his hit songs are going to be covered in fact uh you can see you can see them in the chapter markers and if you'd like to start with your favorite head over to that chapter marker but i'd encourage you to watch through the lesson first fully understand it digest it and then you can always use the chapter markers in the description and we cover a lot of song tutorials on the base so we've put together a nice playlist you can see that also in the description so there's quite a bit to learn even after this lesson if you've just stumbled on this video as a first timer to our channel do consider subscribing to the channel it will mean a lot for the for us to move through the youtube uh, algorithm ecosystem and it'll also allow you to access the lessons the new ones whenever we update them which we do quite often on our channel so and hit the bell as well that will help and like all of my lessons i supplement them with handwritten notes as well as notation bass guitar tabs more specifically as well as notation will be available for this lesson available on patreon.com/jasonzack so do head over there and for 5 dollars a month you'll get all that i do all the supplementary notation midi backing tracks pretty much anything to help support the learning of this lesson in a very detailed way just like a normal lecture you would have from you know a, a teacher if you go to okay so let's get cracking with five of the top bass lines at least which i think of the great michael jackson so let's see how it goes starting with beat it so with beat it i'm going to first start off now a lot of these songs are tuned in a very weird way so i don't know if it's e if it's e flat or somewhere in between they detune it kind of deliberately because back in the day i guess people were copying a lot of songs and looks like things have not changed much today as well so i am going to teach you uh, since it's such a great baseline i'm going to teach you in two positions first of all on e open e and then i'm going to teach you on what i think is the original key which is actually e flat so most videos i find also on youtube they teach us on e i would like to teach you also on e flat because i'd allow you to understand your intervals and play away from the known notes like the open fret and at least the first four or five frets which we are generally comfortable with so beat it in in e position or in open position will go something like and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 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 and 2 and 3 and 4 okay the first thing i'd like to point out is there's a pick up it doesn't start at the one of the bar it starts at the and of the four and we are dividing the beat into two equal units it's straight it's not dun ta dun ta dun ta it's not swinging it's straight so dum pa ba 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 so that ta uh, the first one is not at the on beat it's at the off beat so before one we proceed it with that one and two and three and four and one and two and three and it's very important to know and count four before you even start the the music so one and two and three and four and at the end of the four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three i'm superimposing the uh, 
the beat divisions one and two and three and four and with the actual bass line so you get an idea of where it's placed you can also see the notes to show you exactly one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three so there's small variations in the bass line but it's just the second time it's easier than the first time because we don't play that last uh, d okay so let me break that down very slowly for you uh, remember start at the end of the four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two very slowly so open e g b open g e you could even fret the g if you wish if that's more convenient i guess then you don't have to worry about ringing or or then i could even hammer on to that f sharp and watch out this watch for the staccatos i like that muted feel there i like hammering you could try it if you wish or so open d bam or fretted d bam you can play that with your pinky that will be a little bit more of a stretch so take a call depending on your level or fluency with these things on your instrument 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 with some more opens and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and so we can even play beat it on the key of e flat now e flat is a bit tricky to play around the first few frets even though this is e flat but i choose to play e flat on the 11th fret because i think it's a bit more ergonomic so So now you need to know your intervals. The first thing I'd like you to form is a minor chord from E flat, which is E flat minor. The chords in fact of the song are E flat minor and then D flat major. Then E flat minor again. Okay, E flat minor. You're highlighting that with your bass. So so ta na na root minor third perfect fifth at this range of the bass i prefer to go in an intervallic way one minor third perfect fifth and then you go ta da da di that's a that's your minor third up top this is the shape for that so everything is with respect to the root this is the minor third close to the root This is the perfect fifth with respect to the root. This is the minor third but played up top. We also call that a minor tenth. And then we go octave. This is also called as the third position of playing the scale. I like to just call it as the pinky position because your your root is starting off with the pinky. You start playing your position has the pinky wall as I like to call it here. So now ta That's how you fret it. Okay, and it ends with a minor seventh. One more time. Three, four. Okay. and you stop there on the d flat which is the minor 7 so again i'm calling out the intervals for you guys 1 and 2 okay 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 minor third 
perfect fifth higher minor third root or octave okay and then la da 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 what's that that's a ninth or the major second played up an octave so pe da do di de ta da do ti again pe do do di da ti da do okay and the fingers i hope you're figuring that out through watching pa di do do de ta na 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 you could continue to do that hammer on pa di do di da ti I like to sometimes even bend that. Okay, so that's the beated bass line. Let's move into song number two. I guess the next most famous, or maybe this is more famous than beated. I don't know really. Okay, so let's now tackle Billy Jean M J song number two. So it's on the key of F sharp. You could argue F sharp minor or natural minor, and it's just one recurring shape. It's just eighth notes, no gaps. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and something like. Now in the original, what happens is there are two two F sharp bases. arguably one being a synth bass or maybe both being a synth bass but i find it very difficult to play both f sharps together so i'd leave it to you you can either do the high f sharp first which is on the on the fourth fret of the d string and come down and it's just these this block of notes see so f sharp c sharp e natural f e c sharp b c sharp pum 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 baby jean is not my love but how i like to play it also is to start with that lower f sharp it kind of adds the bite boom so root 5th minor 7th octave minor 7th perfect 5th perfect 4th perfect 5th pum 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 so this is how i play it You could use your pinky for these notes. You could use your index finger for these notes. Index finger, pinky finger there. So don't hammer anything. Pluck everything. You can even start from the top. If you feel your wrist stretching out a bit, you can head over to the ninth fret of the A string. You'll find the F sharp right here waiting for you. Boom, 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 boom. You just can't get the low F sharp anymore, but it still works. Boom, 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 boom. Ding, 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 ding. Very easy to play, at least for me. And I think, yeah, you'll find a much lesser stretch than. Here. If you want to get those notes smoother, I would recommend moving your wrist as well. Don't keep your wrist very stuck on the bass. Move your wrist, and for more power, the thumb can push into the bass more to allow you to not, you know, or to prevent you from buzzing the notes. If you push your thumb, your your uh, fretting thumb, it can get you to play. lot more strong and a lot more clean okay so that's billy jean quite an easy song actually not if you play this for the whole song but still yeah all the best with billy jean now song number 3 smooth criminal smooth criminal is basically on again it's a bit weird with the tuning but i'm going to assume it's on the key of a minor and show you from an open a Tiri doo doo, tiri doo doo, pam pam pam, tiri doo. 
So it's almost the baseline of smooth criminal is almost the same as what Michael Jackson is singing, isn't it? Dun 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 And again, it starts off in a very offbeat one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and bum bum bada dum dum de 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 dum bum bam 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 bada dum bum. What's very interesting about this bass line, pretty much like all the MJ bass lines we are going to learn and already have learned with Beat It and so on, would be that the start of the line is generally at a pickup it's at in this case the and of the four so one and two and three and four and one right one and two and three and four and one and two e and a three but we have to divide the beat into four equal units because there's a lot of 16th note information there's a lot of notes happening at the e's and the ers E da ka du ka du and a three and a four and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, you see you have you have fours you have ones you have ands but you have a lot of e's and ers as well so we are dividing by four and see the grid which I have written it shows you exactly where the beats are circled and it's pretty much two bars of info which you have to just keep copying. But start at the end of the four. Pam, pam, pam. Let me play it once. Da da dum, pam, pa da dum, pam. I'm starting with open A. Two and three and four and start with one and two and three and four and one. Pam, pa da dum, pam, pa da dum, pam, pa da dum, pam, pam. That's the loop. Two, three, again. Pam, 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 pa da dum, pam. Stop. And try to stop whenever you think the snare drum is there in the song, which is generally at the twos and the fours. And then the three and a four and a one. Dum ba da bum bum snare. Da da dum dum snare. Da da dum bum 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 ba da dum bum. Ow. Da da dum bum. Ow. Da da dum bum. Also, where Michael Jackson probably says, "Ah, all those fancy sounds which you hear from him, along with his singing, which I have no clue how." Any of that works. Two, three, pam, pam, pa, di, di, dum, pum, da, da, dum, pum, pa, da, du, du, dum, dan, 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 di, di, dum, pum, da, da, dum, pum, di, di, dum, pum, pam, dum, pam. Now you're playing open A, so it's very important to to mute it. Pum, pam, pa, pa, da, dum, pum, pa, da, dum, pum, pam. So be able to mute it with the the fretting hand, the left hand in my case. You can also mute it with your right hand itself. Just play the the index and use your middle to mute. Para dum pum. So you get a nice staccato vibe. And when you need to open, you it'll sound really nice. Versus. You can get a lot of vibes of the song. Okay, so that's smooth criminal. Again, the notation is there. Do consider downloading it. So, song number four given to me. You may be thinking, "Ha, huh, it doesn't have a popular, like a catchy bass line, but it's one of my favorite songs." And you hear it being played on the guitar. So I thought I'll give you like a guitar bass hybrid for given to me to give you like the bass notes as well as the guitar part. So it'll be a nice accompaniment you can do if you're covering this song. So given to me basically is emulating the vocal line. <laughs> So you're gonna figure out a way to play that tune. Pretty much that, and then try and add the bass ingredients. And also try to bring in the guitar, which I think is really cool. So start with your pinky on the twelfth fret of the E string. This will sound nice, I think. First of all, the chords have given to me E minor, C major, D major, E minor, C major, D major, and E minor. 
C major, D major. Okay, now I'm going to start it off on the twelfth fret. So first, let's get that going. E, B, perfect fifth. Little bit of a jump. So boom, boom. One more time. Slowly. Same finger for for the fifth as well as the higher octave. And then G D D D D D C D G D F sharp G C D G D F sharp G. I'm trying to make it a point to mute my my notes as I go along. I don't want the low end ring of the open strings, so I try to mute it as much as possible with my uh, picking hand. So just to show you again, see I'm using my thumb to kind of anchor as well as mute. So it really helps with the random rings which tend to happen with at least newer players. So let's get that done. And mind you, I I sometimes mess it up myself. The fifth, you skip the A string. and then voyage towards the d string okay da 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 octave da 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 re da re re do 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 re re da re and again da da re 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 do 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 re do do okay and the second line or the second cycle you can do what michael jackson does which is anticipate the melody da da re 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 If you wish, otherwise keep it going the same way. Or you can anticipate here and there, or normal. we have it that's given to me so i've saved probably the best for last which is bad and that's i guess the easiest of the lot you can start it off on a minor and it's just open a in the beginning i'll play it for you not that you need to know it you must have already heard this song but sort of like a dorian song a minor d major which is the one minor go heading over to the four major you know i'm bad i'm bad so what am i doing there i'm doing the open a fretting on the third fret the c a c d open d tritone which is d sharp also known as e flat and then ending with the e which is the second fret of the d string let's do that again a c d tritone e and the reason being that's a bit faster the reason being because a tritone is like a very chaotic note if you ring it for too long right so a c d pass to the 5 so that's an eighth note cluster there a c d pa ba so now they don't carbon copy the riff it's not pa ba 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 instead it's pa ba 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 gap pa ba ba so that root will delay itself to the end pa ba 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 pa ba 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 pa ba 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 pa ba ba you know Right, guys. So we've learned five of at least my favorite Michael Jackson riffs of all time. If you'd like me to cover any more Michael Jackson riffs or anything else which are cool bass riffs or lines which you'd like to learn, do leave them in the comments. And thanks a ton for watching this video. Do give the video a like and a thumbs up if you liked the lesson. Of course, uh, do consider heading over to our Patreon page for notations. MIDI 
and my handwritten notes for every one of these five baselines which we've learned and not only for this tutorial for everything we've done in the past and the, what we are going to do in the future on our youtube channel if you're a new viewer or a new subscriber i hope you can hit that subscribe button as well soon or maybe now basically you'll get a lot of learning resources on our patreon channel to help supplement the learning and i also teach piano as some of you already know i also do teach music theory year training composition production and a bunch of other stuff so if you like what you learn do consider being a part of our channel leave us a comment like i said earlier and i will catch you in the next lesson cheers